When trying to select components, we obviously look at the data sheets either online or maybe even very occasionally some of us might have uh, paper data sheets somewhere or other, uh, but not very often these days. But one of the things that you'll often see is a note about the position of the component or, or that product in the product life cycle, things like preliminary, active, uh, not recommended for new designs uh, and obsolete. And it's really important to understand what these mean. What you really don't want is to launch your new circuit design into production and have the uh, components used, half of them going in uh, obsolete before the uh, production started. And this can very easily happen because particularly with semiconductors, the product life cycle can often be quite short. So what I did was to speak to some industry experts to find out their wisdom. So let's start by looking at what preliminary actually means. So preliminary status really means that these are engineering samples. The manufacturer is able to produce the device, they have a functioning device, but it's not really meant for production as the final specification could change. But it is good for prototyping and proof of concept and so on, doing those first designs. The next category is active. What does this really mean? Active where the component is still currently being produced and sold. Why is this actually important? But when you go to production, you really want an active status device. And why is this? Because the active status means really that it's now in stable um, manufacturing, it's in production, it's readily available, and it's fully supported with data sheets and application examples and so on. And the next category is NRND. And what actually is this and why is it important? Then there's NRND, not recommended for new designs. And this is where the component is approaching end of life and likely to be discontinued soon. So why does this actually come about? And this was a formerly active device and it's perhaps been superseded by an improved version. Um, it's not really then meant to be designed in and you should look for you know, the recommended alternatives. And certainly if we have devices um, that we are showing as NRND, then we'll recommend an alternative. And what does LTB mean? What, what actually is it and what effect might it have on your choice? LTB is last time by, and there is a final date after which production of this part will stop. I can remember uh, when a last time buy notice was issued that we had to go away and estimate how many components we might need for any production that might be left and also for maintenance as well. And this can all be always be a little bit difficult. We always ended up trying to uh, uh, make sure that we bought enough, which can be, if you overbuy, that can be expensive. And if you don't buy uh, sufficient, then uh, that can cause uh, many problems. And of course, the other alternative is that you might want to do a redesign and this actually can be quite expensive, particularly if something's in production and you've got to change uh, various items. And you'll, of course, you'll still need the uh, uh, last time buy for the components for, for maintenance as well. And then on top of the standard designations, sometimes distributors have their own designations as well, which can be very helpful. And then we have a DigiKey classification, discontinued by DigiKey. And there's normally a number of factors of why DigiKey is not stocking this part. And finally, what does obsolete actually mean? Um, we, we've all got a, an idea of what it can mean, but what does it mean for components? Obsolete status means really, as the word says, the device is obsolete. It's not really, um, it's, no, or it's no longer in production. And uh, whilst data may still exist for it, as in data sheets and so on, uh, it certainly isn't anything that you would consider to design into a product. Components can go obsolete when they're no longer viable for the manufacturer to uh, manufacture them. And this could be because the manufacturer has moved on to more advanced uh, processes and hasn't got room or the ability really to keep the older processes going. Sometimes they can sell on the copyright and, and maybe the equipment, the, uh, the dyes and, and the... Uh, uh, photography to other manufacturers who may still be able to manufacture them and you'll be able to buy them from there and it's particularly important to look around for good second sources but be very careful 
that what you don't get are counterfeit components because these can be very troublesome in many ways. But that's the source, uh, the subject for another video. So if you need any more information about the product life cycle uh, definitions, please head over to the description area. And please also don't forget to like this video, to watch more of our videos and really to subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much. Thank <music> you.